referred to Ysera as my sister's pet. And so people are like, who is the Winter Queen's sister? I think the general consensus based on a lot of videos that I watched and based on some information that I've gathered that Alun is the Winter Queen's sister. But my question is, how powerful is Alun? How much does Alun actually know? And where does Alun sit on the cosmic scale? Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, we're going to have a discussion about Alun. There's a lot of questions that I have after the Arden Wield questline. So if you haven't played the Arden Wield questline, there are a lot of spoilers in this video. I recommend you do not watch this video. Play through it and then come back. Okay, there's your spoiler warning. But um, this is going to be a discussion video, speculation, questions about Alun based on the resurrection of Ysera in the Shadowlands by the Winter Queen. There's been a lot of discussion going around because the Winter uh, Queen pretty much referred to Ysera as my sister's pet. And so people are like, who is the Winter Queen's sister? I think the general consensus based on a lot of videos that I watched and based on some information that I've gathered that Alun is the Winter Queen's sister. But my question is, how powerful is Alun? How much does Alun actually know? And where does Alun sit on the cosmic scale? And I'll, I'm about to show you why I have those questions. This is a video from Akalon, and I hope I pronounced his name correctly. Um, this is a YouTube video that he put together, and he posed this... Um, he made this statement. Here, check it out. Oh, and the other thing that I actually wanted to fucking talk about, this is why I paused the video in the first place, Elun must have known something that we did not. That no one knew. Why did Elun take Ysera to the Shadowlands? Could it be that Elun knew? Knew that Zuval was up to something. This is why she interfered in the first place. She interfered because she knew that the... The Shadowlands is going to need all the help it can get to stop Zuval from realizing his ultimate goal. As I already said, I don't think that dragons should go to the Shadowlands. I don't. Okay. So that statement that he made that Alun possibly already knew about what Zuval was up to in the Shadowlands and therefore put Ysera on the path and put her into the Shadowlands to help defend the Shadowlands, how much did she know? Okay. Now I'm going to take that a little further because we see Ysera's here. You know, when Ysera died in Legion, she was brought up, pretty much brought into the Shadowlands back or back into the, the game, literally the same way. I mean, the same shape and everything. Also the music it was the same. You can see all of that in this video. Uh, uh, Akalon goes through that. Um, so my question is, how much does Alun know? Like, let's take that farther, okay? Does did Alun know that um, Ysera was going to be corrupted by the nightmare? Did she know that the events of Legion were going to take place? And the reason I ask that is because if those events didn't take place, Ysera wouldn't be dead. So Alun would have to use or hope for another random scenario where Ysera dies in order to take her and place her in the Shadowlands or she knew that was going to happen to Ysera and that she was going to be able to t then take Ysera and place her into the Shadowlands. So how much did she know? Because it's kind of far-fetched to say, well, she just used any random opportunity that Ysera died. Because that's random for a dragon aspect to die can't just wait around if there's some major plan going on you can't just wait around for something like that to happen to place your agent where you need them and then i i take that even further let's look at taronda taronda now empowered as the night warrior jumped into the portal that we were taking to get to the shadowlands so now taronda is in the shadowlands okay taronda is regular taronda she's pretty powerful okay but she is even more powerful 
empowered as the night warrior i did that i don't know why i did that maybe that's the night warrior theme coming down on her um so taronda is now even more powerful as a night warrior we see it because she was able to evade capture from is it Ma- moss worn or or force worn the force worn anyways the dark Kyrian that uh, sylvanas sylvanas sends to capture the leaders of azeroth taronda is able to fight them off okay jaina wasn't even able to do that we know how powerful jaina is so now we have an empowered Tyrande in the Shadowlands. Is that another agent of a loon that's in there? Is it just by chance that Tyrande is in the Shadowlands? Because if it's not by chance that Ysera is there, we can also safely assume that it's not by chance that Tyrande is there. And if a loon knows, knew that Ysera had to be there, then we can say that she knew Tyrande had to be there. How much did a loon know? Did she know that the events? leading up to Tyrande being empowered by the, 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 uh, as the Night Warrior and jumping into the portal, did she know those events were going to take place? Meaning, did she know the World Tree was going to burn down? Because you just can't base it on a random occurrence. Now, I know this is far-fetched, okay? I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. I, I kind of look like that meme where the guy is doing the conspiracy theory. I can't, I can't remember the, the guy's name. Um, but did Ysera know about the events that were going to lead up to one Ysera's death so she can take her to the Shadowlands and uh, Taronda, did she know Taronda was going to jump in and now maybe it's possible Loon has two agents in the Shadowlands that can help with what Zaval is about to do, okay? Here are the additional questions that I have regarding, you know, how much does Loon know, how powerful is Loon, and where does she sit on the cosmic scale? So let's say that she is the Winter Queen's sister, okay? Let's open up the... Here is the cosmic scale planes of World of Warcraft, whatever you want to call it. But here we have the Shadowlands. I could zoom in here. Um, here we have the Shadowlands, okay? And then here we have the Emerald Dream. Now, where did the Emerald Dream come from? And this is sort of the question of how powerful is Loon? We don't know much about Loon actually. We just know that she's like the moon goddess. That's what she's referred to um, when it comes to the night elves. But bear with me here. So here's the Emerald Dream. Direct opposite from the, uh, the Shadowlands. So we have life, nature, wild gods, Emerald Dream. And here we have Shadowlands, undead, necromantic, and death. Complete opposite. Just like everything else. Disorder, fell, burning legion, um, then titans, arcane, order. Then you have the old gods, void lords, shadowlands. So everything is opposite. Okay, everything is opposite of each other. So if we have the shadowlands here, and we have the eternal ones, in this case we're talking specifically about the winter queen. If a loon is in fact her sister, then a loon would be somewhere completely opposite. But how powerful is a loon? How far does it stretch here? Okay, so to answer that question or to speculate. I think about, you know, what exactly is the Emerald Dream. So if I go to the Emerald Dream, the creation of the Emerald Dream, as it states here, Freya, a creation of the benevolent Titans, created the Emerald Dream to serve as the underlying blueprint for the planet Azeroth. After the Titans had shaped Azeroth, they sent Ysera into an eternal trance and charged her with watching over all of Azeroth from the dream. Okay? And remember... She said, uh, the Winter Queen said her sister's pet, not her sister's creation or spawn. It's her sister's pet, okay? So, we go further into this part. It says, some believe that Freya wove the Emerald Dream into being from nothing, but others claim that this strange place had always existed in some form. This strange place has always existed in some form. A dream born from Azeroth's slumbering world soul. It is said that Freya tapped into this realm and molded what would become known as the Emerald Dream as a way to commune with the uh, nascent Titan. I don't know if I sent nascent. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Um, Titan. So if the Emerald Dream did in fact exist before and Freya wove it or, or tapped into the realm and the power. How powerful is a loon? So Freya, um, 
was created by the Titans. Okay. And then Freya either created the Emerald Dream or tapped into the power of the Emerald Dream. Let's say, let's go with she tapped into the power of the Emerald Dream. Then who created the Emerald Dream as it was before Freya tapped into it? Could that be a loon? And if so, how powerful is a loon? Now let's look at the wild gods. So we have the wild gods. When wild gods die, they go to the Emerald Dream. So here, um, Wildpedia says, wild gods are immortal and ageless. Their spirits will return to the Emerald Dream when killed in their physical world, after which they can be ushered back into the world. Okay? I'm starting to connect things here, so bear with me. So that means the wild gods, when their physical form dies, bam, now they're Emerald Dream territory. And then once they manifest again, respawn, whatever however you're going to call it, they go back to the physical, um, they go back to their physical forms. Okay. How powerful is a loon? That's the question. Where does she sit on this cosmic scale? So we see Ursoc in the Afterlives of Ardenweald. Um, Afterlives, Ardenweald, cinematic or animation, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. We see them. Um, Ursoc is in the uh, Shadowlands. He's in Ardenweald. But wild gods are supposed to go to the Emerald Dream. Unless there's something I'm misunderstanding there. And if I am, please let me know in the comments. So we have wild gods who pass, who, who are dying, who go to the Shadowlands. Okay. And we also have Ysera, who obviously isn't a wild god. She's a dragon aspect. When she dies, she goes to the Shadowlands. But Ysera was tasked. Ysera is essentially bound to the Emerald Dream. So if wild gods die, if they're supposed to go to the Emerald Dream, and Ysera, who died, is bound to the Emerald Dream, but then also ends up in the Shadowlands, so Ursoc and Ysera, both examples of beings tied to the Emerald Dream, ending up in the Shadowlands, and Ardenweald, specifically, what does that tell me? I think we can safely assume that somehow they are connected. Ardenweald and the Emerald Dream are somehow connected. And that leads me to another question. How powerful is a loon then? And where does a loon sit on the cosmic scale? Where is she? Because if a loon created the Emerald Dream, if the Emerald Dream existed before, uh, before Freya tapped into it, that would make a loon pretty damn powerful. Especially since wild gods are... That's where wild gods go when they die. So you have these two connected realms. And then we have the Shadowlands, Emerald Dream, that we pretty much are connected. And we see that the Winter Queen here can pretty much resurrect Ysera. Essentially doing what Freya did. Okay, well, no. Because Freya turned her... Okay, scratch that last part. We just see her being able to resurrect Ysera. And that, again, questions. Unanswered questions. Where does a loon sit on this? Because we, we don't know a lot about a loon. We don't know much about her at all. We just know she's referred to as a moon goddess. Okay? And, you know, we see these, uh, and then we see this, this cosmic scale here. And I'm tr just trying to figure out where she sits. How powerful is she? Is she possibly more powerful than a titan? Is she a titan herself? That would be kind of stale because we've already kind of done the titan thing. And then after we answer that question of, you know, get to the answer of how powerful a loon is, we'll be able to see how powerful the eternal ones are. Again, a lot of questions left unanswered in this. This was more just so of a ranting kind of a, a, a speculation sort of deal. Um, and I'll leave you with this, okay? I'll leave you with this. I went and looked up the eternal ones. And I found something that was pretty interesting here. So we're talking about the Winter Queen, okay, and a loon. Again, we don't know much about a loon. We don't know much about the Winter Queen. But we can safely probably say that a loon and the Winter Queen are maybe... Uh... Let's read this. Okay, it says the Archon refers to the Sire as our brother. 
uh, sire Denathrius. The Primus refers to the jailer as our brother. But the Winter Queen refers to the Primus as a dear friend. So could it be that the Winter Queen is more powerful than the other eternal ones? And, and by more powerful, I'm not saying like, you know, one-on-one -on -one fight. I just mean on the cosmic scale, does she have a higher place? And if she does, then we can safely assume that Elune has a higher place on the cosmic scale. So it goes back to my question again, just more unanswered questions. Again, I'm the, I'm the meme guy. How powerful is Elune? Where does she sit on the scale? And this whole kind of conversation came out from this video here um, by Akalon. He posed a question that Elune possibly knew what Zaval was up to and therefore brought Ysera to the Emerald Dream. Oh, sorry, brought Ysera to the Shadowlands, Ardenweald specifically, so she can protect it. And my question is, how much did Elune know? And that goes along with how powerful is she to know all of this stuff, including what I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the events leading up to Ysera's presence in the Shadowlands. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was a big rant, <laughs> but I appreciate you sticking through it. If you have any comments, any discussion topics that you want to... Um, excuse me, any uh, discussion that you want to continue in the comment section, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on all this. Um, if you think my, my theory or my questions are completely um, blasphemous or stupid, let me know. Just let's talk about it because this is, this is pretty interesting. It's getting big, all right? I'm excited to see where this goes and hopefully the questions will be answered. Thank you so much again for watching this video. I'll catch you guys later. James signing out. Peace.